into me today. It must have been those tummy warmers I had at the club. <laughs> oh, you look awfully lonely. I hope you don't mind if I join you. Actually, oh, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really glad. It's just such a lovely day out, isn't it? Absolutely adore lovely days. <clears throat> My name's Mildred. What's yours? Oh, the funniest story I need to tell you. It's so great. I was out. I was walking along Main Street. And, oh, you wouldn't believe it, but I tripped. I mean, you know what it's like when you're wearing heels and get <laughs> and I, I tripped and and I looked down and, and you'll never guess what I saw. <laughs> it was a gumball. I tripped on a gumball, an actual whole gumball. Can you believe it? Really, I, I still have the dye stuck to my shoe. I can show it to you right now. It's so uh, funny. No. I'm gonna have to get it cleaned. But, oh, anyway, I really wonder to myself, honestly, where on earth would a whole gumball come from? I mean, honestly. And so, I looked up, and you'll never guess what I saw. Wow. Oh, honey, you're going to love it. Really. Really, because yeah. you look like someone who enjoys a sweet every now and again. Well, maybe more often than none, but... So, <laughs> anyways, I looked up, and... And I kind of walked up the way where... You know when you have something stuck to the bottom of your shoe? And you kind of shuffle to, to get it off? So that's how I was walking up to this window. I must have looked like a crazy person. I mean, I, that I, sounds I, great. I, I peered you know. in, and, and, and I looked inside, and, and I saw this little man, and he was standing at the cashier. And I walked right in, and I looked around, and I really couldn't believe all the wonders I saw in this little shop on Main Street. I saw the sweetest things you'd ever see. Sounds really, you great, wouldn't believe but all the sweets in this place. And the little man, he came over to me, and he was just the most charming little man. I mean, you wouldn't believe how lovely this little man was. And he took me around the store, and he showed me everything. I mean, he really, he, he couldn't stop showing me all this merchandise. Oh, it was just wonderful. He was the sweetest little man. Really, you wouldn't fathom how charming this little guy was. He really, he couldn't stop showing me all the merchandise in this store, if you know what I mean. And after all that, you'll never believe what I sampled. I bet I'd never be able to guess. <laughs> yes, the gumballs. I sampled the gumballs, and oh, they were just... Oh, they were perfect. And I mean, the way he was talking about them, I started to love them even more. <laughs> oh, but you want to know what the biggest hoot is? <laughs> really? Oh, the I'll biggest hoot. Oh, you won't be able to guess, really. I bought the whole machine. The whole gumball machine. Oh, that's a waste of money. Oh, nonsense. Oh, that's no. No. <laughs> You know what? I think I need a drink. I think I need a drink. Well, Garcelle, I don't know if that would be very Garcelle, practical idea. I need a drink I need, over you know, here. You must be on your way to me to be able to have it in a rush. Oh, you're such a swell gal. You really 
are the most swell gal, aren't you? Really, I think you're really swell. And you're right, I do need to leave soon, but you know what, I'm gonna finish the rest of my story because I think closure is very important. How time. Oh, so <laughs> After all that, he sweet-talked me into trying his gumballs, then he sweet-talked me into buying the whole machine, and I just couldn't, do you wanna try one? I, please, please. Really, let me just get you one here. Oh, I know it's somewhere in here. There, please try one. Come on, there you go. Try one. just an accident. I didn't drown you in it. But I must say you wear liquids very well. Maybe you could start a trend. I just realized I'm late for something. Now you can just hold your horses. I'm the one who came into all of this, so I'm the one who's gonna be making the classy exit. Exits are very important, you know. It really tells you a lot about a person. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, honey, I just realized I didn't catch your name. Lana. Lana. Oh, Lana. I do. And I really hope you get to where you want to go on time. What is that saying? Take your time and you'll be fine. It really is such a swell saying, isn't it? My mother used to always say that. Really smart lady, but I'll be honest, she was as crazy as a cat on ten wheels. Farewell, Lana. <laughs> There's a time when your mind lets you cross past the line that defines so you know you've got to go now. Cause looks can be deceiving.